Very thick material. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tile Tool Tuesday. In this quick five minute segment, we will be unboxing, reviewing, and testing this here. Porter Cable seven inch compact tabletop tile saw. Now this saw is unique because it is the only available tabletop tile saw with a rolling tray. It can be used for small format tile. It also can be used for large format tile, cross cutting your 12 by 24s, ripping your porcelain planks. We have been using this for a couple of years now with good success. As a matter of fact, I did post an Instagram video of us using this saw today. You can check that Instagram clip out at Landberg Tile TV. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Let's get right to it. Bring the camera up close, show you what this looks like. Up close, of course, we will plug it in, fill it with water, and demonstrate how it cuts with this material. Three eighths of an inch thick glass. We will rip a porcelain plank. And of course, cut this very thick stack stone. This is quartz. Here we go. And here it is, guys. I've gotta say, this thing looks nice. It's very shiny. Again, I was just using this saw a few hours ago. Nothing beats a new shiny tile tool, but this is a well-built tile saw. So you have a stainless steel deck, and of course, the best part, your rolling, sliding table here. It includes a blade. Now, this blade is not very good if you're only cutting soft material such as ceramic or stone, it will do, but if you want to cut something like hard porcelain, I would highly recommend upgrading to something like a Pearl P4 7 inch blade. As usual, links will be in the description below with specs and pricing on this saw, as well as that P4 Pearl blade. But we'll equip this blade today for demonstration purposes. It also includes the guard to contain the water spray. And one of the main points I want to hit on, obviously one, it has a sliding tray, is two, it is very small and compact for your small and compact areas. Within a kitchen, within a bathroom, you can remodel a shower and install tile with this tile saw. You can also use this for flooring, backsplashes. It is a multi-use tabletop tile saw. Installing the diamond blade. Installing your splash guard. Well, that's it for assembly, quick and easy. A blade and a splash guard. Let's quickly show you up close what this saw looks like and then plug it in and make some cuts. We have a fence here for diagonal cuts as well as straight cuts that attaches to the sliding table. We have a drain plug here. Your table, stainless steel deck. It has a roll cage to protect it as well as a nice solid handle plug, rubber feet, so it doesn't slip around. And that's it. It's a very simple, but unique and one of a kind tabletop tile saw. We will start out with this glass, three eighths of an inch thick. Eye protection, ear protection, the saw tends to be a little loud. And there you go, a very clean cut with glass. Let's move on to the porcelain plank. We will rip this porcelain plank. There you go, a very clean cut. Moving on to quartz, your stacked stone. Very thick material. And 
And of course, cuts through this like butter in a hot knife. Well, that's it guys, one of the better tabletop tile saws on the market. It's well built, again, it has a sliding tray. There is one tile saw coming to us very soon which will compete with this, and that's going to be the IQ Dustless Waterless Tabletop Saw. Now that saw I'm excited about. I hope I can get my hands on a prototype for a review. But again, this Porter Cable is one of our favorites. It's our go-to tabletop saw. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already. And please hit the like button down there. It does help the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.